Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see adaptive application control in Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Application control helps us deal with malicious and or unauthorized softwares by allowing only specific applications to run on the machines. So we'll explore more on this, how I can control the application control using Microsoft Defender for Cloud features. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal and this is the Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Now, on the Microsoft Defender for Cloud sidebar, click on Workload Protections. If you not see that, you type in here. You get this option. Click on Workload Protection. You'll see these options on the Advanced Protection part at the bottom. This option. Click on Adaptive Application Control, this option. The Adaptive Application Control page opens with the VMs grouped into the following tabs, which is Configured, Recommended and No Recommendation, right? If you click on Recommended tab, if this tab does not contain any group, it means the Microsoft Defender for Cloud need at least two weeks of data to define the unique recommendations per group of machines. This because this is my lab, I've not kept it enabled for a couple of weeks to save the cost. But if you are uh, into the prod environment, give at least a couple of weeks for the Microsoft Defender for Cloud with the unique definitions with the application control and if you want to know what is application control it says application controls helps you deal with malicious and or unauthorized software by allowing only specific applications to run on your machines right so how does it work defender for cloud would analyze data of application to find machines for which there is a constant set of running applications defender for cloud creates allow list rules for each group and presents the rules in the form of a recommendation. Once the recommendation is resolved, Defender for Cloud configures it by leveraging app locker capabilities. Right. So once you have, uh, you know, servers or machines come under configure recommended on a recommendation tab, then you can further create groups of those machines and allow the application rules. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, you can uh, ask those in the comment or feel free to read Microsoft documentation for further information. Thank you. Have a good day.